one of the reasons I was very interested in this play um, was that in many ways it reminded me of another really great piece of literature, which is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, um, in a very interesting way. Um, one of the things that Mary Shelley did was she took all our ideas of progress and science and industry and all the ways that they could lead to real um, terrible results and transformed them into a set of psychological relationships, psychosocial relationships between a um, inventor, um, a scientist, and his creature. And played that all out and made a timeless story, a story that stands beyond the French Revolution or any of the social periods of its time. I think one of the things that, that Karen has done is she has taken all these social and political relationships that I have studied, that Josh has studied, the people that we have known. It was really interesting watching her play and knowing you know, who leaked the Red Cross report and to whom and you know, watching all these things all compressed into a relationship between six people and watching their relationships develop over a period of eight or nine years. So in a sense, she compressed um, a whole decade and hundreds of lives into six lives and showed how that interaction happened. Um, there are a lot of things that in the play obviously um, will speak to our condition in the future. Um, among the things that are timeless in this are um, the fact that power always loves to hear its own story. Um, it never likes to hear people speak to it. Um, there are, are obviously social elements to this story as well. Um, for example, for the foreseeable future, most of the wars that America will be in will be asymmetrical wars, and they will be wars in which, um, seemingly, we won't interrogate ourselves. We will render it out to organizations and firms like Deepwater. So all the things that are sort of pictured here will continue in other ways. There are other things that are silent tragedies that are unfolding in our lives that are also in the play. Um, the play ends with the story of a whistleblower. And it's important to recognize how important the whistleblowers were in the course of the last um, uh, decade. But it's also important to realize how persecuted the whistleblowers continue to be.